Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. It is Friday, and all of our guests today are brought to you by our friends at Quinsome Communications Group in Campbell River. Quinsome Communications Group, connecting people through technology. Akito Hiroshi, left-handed defenseman out of Minnesota State. He's from Calgary, uh, signs an entry-level deal with the Canucks earlier this week. His agent is Elaine Roy from RSG Hockey. He also represents uh, Nils Hoaglander. Yeah. We'll talk to uh, Elaine about him as well. Uh, Elaine Roy joining us now. Elaine, thanks for doing this, sir. How are you? Thank you for having me, guys. What sold um, uh, you and Nikita Horosi on the Vancouver Canucks lane? Uh, opportunity. Uh, you know, that that's probably uh, key number one for any NCAA free agent that uh, that's looking to uh, turn pro. Uh, I think uh, Akito uh, has had some good years at uh, Mankato, Minnesota State. His, his coach just took a new job yesterday with Wisconsin, but uh, very well coached, uh, detailed defenseman, and uh, excited to see what he does in the pros. Yeah, Elaine, what's what's Patrick Alvin like to deal with? Patrick's been good. You know what? Uh, very fair. Uh, lays out, uh, you know, kind of laid out the picture for us of what it would look like uh, if he went to Vancouver. And uh, you know, it, 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 he's he's got a big task ahead of him because uh, you know the, the cap is not his friend today. So hopefully, the cap becomes his friend uh, between now and uh, next September. What are the Canucks getting in Akito Hiroshi? What kind of game does he play? Very well-rounded. Uh, you know, not the biggest guy. Very smooth skater. Great first pass. Uh, defense first, which is what they teach at Mankato, uh, but also brings some offensive skills. Uh, I, I think he's a guy that could turn into a real, uh, what they call a minute muncher in the NHL, which is uh, a guy that could play a lot of five-on-five -five minutes. Alain, you you brought up his size, uh, only 170 pounds. So you got to you got to defend pro players. Is is that a concern, or is he going to put on more weight? Uh, is that going to be a, a objective as a, a his in the summer? Yeah, he needs a big summer for sure. Uh, but he, he has such a good stick defensively, and uh, I think uh, over the years in the NHL, it's been proven that uh, skating's first now, uh, and and being able to defend means uh, body positioning and a good stick. Yeah, let's um, let's move over to uh, Niles uh, Hoglander. Uh, you know, this is a player that gets talked about a lot uh, in Vancouver, Alain. Uh, he got sent down, never brought uh, back up. But just give us your overall views on what's happened with uh, Niles this year in Vancouver. Uh, Niles is in uh, Abbotsford now, uh, you know, playing a lot of minutes, working on the details of the game. Uh, we'll be back in the NHL. A very good player. Uh, you know, the, sometimes the business of the game is the business of the game. And, uh, at, at this point, that's kind of a little bit what, what's taken over, but at the end of the day, uh, he's a great prospect and, uh, has been a good player. And, and I think everybody, uh, in Vancouver is excited about him. Uh, Alain, he's an RFA. Any talks yet with the Canucks, uh, about a contract? No, not yet. Uh, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're getting through this year and then we'll, uh, we'll wait for the season to be over to, to start mm -hmm. talking. Yeah. Uh, was there any disappointment? Uh, uh, him and Rathbone are two guys, uh, uh, a land that, you know, kind of got not forgotten, but sent down and it's been really up and down. But it, was there any frustration on your behalf? Uh, I mean, I, I don't I don't know anybody uh, in, in pro sports that's happy about being relegated to the minors. <laughs> yeah. So so I, I think that kind of goes without saying. Yeah. yeah. Do you think he's been traded fairly? Nels by, by uh, the Canucks? I think the communication has been good, and uh, I, I think that's probably not a question for me, but probably more a question for the Canucks. Back, back to Akito for a second, uh, uh, Elaine. Hel help me out on this. I'm not great at this sort of, sort of stuff. What, why uh, a one-year deal? Why just a one-year deal? Uh, you know, because he's 24, okay. obviously it has to be a one-year deal. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, the entry-level system is 18 to 21 is a three-year deal. 22 and 23 is a two-year deal. And 24 is a one-year deal. So uh, dictated by the CBA. 
Okay, you, you must be a mastermind to, to, to know that thing in, inside and out. It's, it's beyond us. I don't know if you've seen our show, but we, we, you know, we're not smart enough to figure that, that stuff out. Hey, spe- speaking of the CBA and the NHL, what's the future hold for the National Hockey League? Do you expect the cap to go up? Do you expect it to go up uh, uh, slightly, a lot? What's, what's going to happen here? Well, we, we just had our new leader of the union step in this week, so uh, that's going to be interesting to see uh, yeah. how Marty uh, steps in and what his first order business is going to be. I would assume towards the top of that uh, of that list is this summer's cap situation. Um, and I, I think you guys saw Gary came out a couple weeks ago and said he's willing to have a conversation uh, about maybe the cap being higher than a million this summer, but uh i know gary is a very smart guy he's going to want some kind of concessions uh based on that so uh right now we're planning on a million this summer uh myself and i'm sure a lot of gms Mm -hmm. (laughs) including patrick probably hope it goes up over a million uh if not then i could see a a a sharp rise after this summer in the in the next two or three summers afterwards which i don't know if Mm -hmm. it's totally fair for guys who are going to be ufas this summer you know, it, it, it's really going to uh, skew the market somewhat. Uh, so that's a concern. Uh, you know, I, I think growing the business should be uh, at the top of, of his list also. You know, uh, working with the league and finding new sources of revenue. You know, we're, I know that we're, uh, when new CBAs come up, we're, off, we're often on uh, opposite sides of the table. But when, when the league is playing, uh, you know, it is a 50-50 league. we got to find ways to grow revenue. Alain, what are you hearing about Abbotsford? We're hearing, you know, good things. Uh, Jeremy Colton's doing a good job down there. The Sedin twins are on the ice with the prospects. I know that's got to make you happy when you have a young kid in Abbotsford. What are you hearing about Abbotsford? Uh, some good things? Yeah, really good things. You know, uh, they got Ryan Johnson kind of overseeing things. I know the Sedins are there a lot. Uh, Jeremy, I, I've only heard good stuff about. Good young coach, very smart coach. Uh, you know, has been in the NHL, has been in Europe, uh, so is very well rounded as far as developing players. And yeah, to me, I, I think that part's exciting for for the young players in Vancouver that uh, they have such a good staff to work with. Rick just took a poll. You're by far the best looking NHL agent we've had on this show. <laughs> how, how, how'd you get, the the beard is outstanding. Outstanding, uh, uh, Elaine. How'd you get That's into the years be- of grooming? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I can how, see how'd that. you get into the business? What's your background? Uh, you know, I, I played college hockey at Harvard, uh, played pro for about five years. And then uh, the year 2000, I bought an agency. So 23 years ago, I was uh, I was actually eight years old back then. I'm, I'm kidding, guys. I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I've been doing this for uh, 23 years now. I, uh, Mel Bridgman was getting out of the business. Oh, oh right, I Mel. Bought, yeah. I bought, yeah, I bought his agency back in 2000. Thousand and kind of grew it from there. So it's uh, it's been a fun ride. Uh, good days and bad days, like every other job. But I really enjoy what I do. Yeah, we know Mel around here, former Victoria yeah. a Cougar, uh, of course. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, but we talked about how we're not smart enough to uh, know what's going on with, with the CBA and all, all this uh, language. One year, two years, and then then you drop Harvard on us. <laughs> okay, we 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 got to let you go, Elaine. That's the end of this interview. Okay. Uh, uh, that, those were the years before they let smart people in. I, 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 just, I was a hockey player. <laughs> Nobody in the media ever went to Harvard, Alain, and you know yeah. that. <laughs> I'll have you know, Alain, that we're both graduates of the Columbia School of Broadcasting. That's okay? right. Yeah. <laughs> All right? Not Harvard. <laughs> Thanks for this, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. You have a great day. Yeah.